I'm Mike Tromley of the Henry Ford Dearborn, Michigan. I got a recipe featuring poached beef tenderloin, featuring local ingredients. Uh, two lads wine from Traverse City, uh, beef from Michigan. I've got fresh asparagus. We're gonna take a little different approach. We're gonna do a pouch cooking technique, seared off in a pan, something a little different that you don't always see. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a shallot and dice that really quickly. And it's very simple. All you do is just slice it down. And it depends on how thick you want it. That will determine the slice marks. Basically what we're going to do is take the tenderloin, put it in a cooking pouch. We're gonna take the nice chopped shallots that we just did a second ago and a little fresh thyme. Some salt. A little pepper, chopped garlic, and our featured ingredient, red wine. About a cup or so. We're going to overdo it since we're poaching in the bag here. And what we're going to do is basically seal this tight, suck some of the air out of there. That's called sous vide. Then what we'll do is we'll poach it in our emergent cooker for about 40 minutes. We set it at 135 degrees, which is a perfect medium. Probably wondering, why are we cooking in this pouch? Let me tell you, this is cooked a perfect medium rare. What you do is you let that rest for a couple minutes, but uh, we'll cut the bag open. You've got all the wine in there, all the cooking juice, everything's there ready to go. And we're going to sear it on the outside. So we're gonna add just a little bit of oil just to make that sear happen. And we're just going to brown it off. Get a nice caramelization on all sides of this. And then what we'll do is we're going to take this liquid and this is going to be the sauce. So that's the best part of it. So you don't even need beef stock. Beef stock's right in there already. Sear it on all sides. What we're doing is just call it, uh, called meyerdization. We're getting a browning part. This is the part that doesn't come from the slow cooker. But that's why we're doing it got our beef seared off. We take our liquid, pour it into the pan, create our sauce. Need a little more red wine? Splash a little bit in. Just adjust a little salt, a little pepper again, just to finish it. And then what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of whole butter. If you don't like butter, you don't have to add it. I like to do it. Kind of smooths it out a little bit. You just swirl the sauce around. Gets all the pan drippings. All those pan drippings. Great flavor for your dish. So just shake your pan back and forth. And that basically incorporates the butter into the sauce. There you go. Once you have that on, and you just pour it right on your filet. It's ready to go. That's it, super simple.